Hey guys, um, today I'm making a video covering how foraging works uh, as a beginner. The best locations to farm your foraging levels and what to do with the materials that you gain. So as a beginner, um, you might not have done any of the foraging, um, leveled up your foraging. Um, you probably hit 50, um, you've done your chaos dungeons, and now you're looking for another part of the game to uh, develop uh, your character. So the best place to actually forge um, is in West Lutera. <clears throat> so once you hit level 50, you should have these Bifrost points. Um, as you can see, I've already used mine for today. Um, the map is Medric Monastery, which is located in West Lutera. Each of these slots you can change um, every 24 hours, and there's a two hour cooldown every time you move between these. So you make sure you want to set um, one point for your foraging, uh, maybe one point for your dailies, and another point just to for your convenience. Um, you know, maybe there's a town that you really like that you want to get to, um, or an island. So today here, I'm going to show you where the map is. So once we're in, uh, I'm in Lutero Castle right now. So this is the beginner town. Um, this is the beginner continent. Sorry, this is where you are, where you stay. Uh, as a beginner and you uh you know develop your way to like 45 um close to 50. so you want to pull out here um we're gonna go to west lutera right here medric monastery this is a very very good map um to forge um foraging is very competitive so you know if there's two people that are comp uh, competing against each other whoever's fastest got the fastest g button um, is going to get that uh, forage done. <clears throat> um, I really suggest you actually bind your G key to a macro, like a mouse key or something. This makes it way easier. So once we're in here on the map, um, we're going to look at the map here. This is the area. So you can see three here already, but this is where you want to be. This is so many foraging uh, flowers that you can get here. Um, I would say it probably takes around one hour to finish um, level 10. I've done that yesterday, as you can see here, forge on level 10. That took me around an hour. Um, and pretty much all my life points, my life skill points. So you can see her at like around 1,000 left. But they do recover, I believe it's 33 per 10 minutes if you have the Crystalline Aura, which you should all have um, if you bought the Founder's Pack. I know some people don't, but they will still recover even if you don't have this Aura. So once you do all of the flowers here, um, actually I forgot to mention here, there are mobs, there are mobs here, um, but you don't have to pay attention to them if you are close or even level close to level 50. You do around two damage here, as you can see. Um, there's also a lot of bots, as you can see here. This guy is for sure botting. Um, give him a high. Anyways, um, once you reach uh, level 10, what you can do is go to your stronghold, and that will be able to, um, you know, you will be able to craft some potions and battle items. <clears throat> so foraging is actually one one of the probably most important life skills that exist in Lost Ark. Um, it is designed to help you. These skills are designed to help you progress into the game. Um, once you uh, go to your uh, stronghold, what you can do is Control One. This brings you to the menu. And you can go to the lab. The first thing you want to do, the first thing you want to do before you can even craft potions or, you know, good potions is upgrading your crafting workshop. Um, I believe this takes level five stronghold, which you should have right off the bat. Um, if you don't have this unlocked, what you could do is uh, go to your station, send them out um, on a journey and you get EXP. As you can see here, you get stronghold EXP. Once you have that unlocked, what you can do is go to Control One, Lab, and then you should be able. Oh, sorry, Workshop. Workshop. This is the button you want to press, and then you have your HP potions, major HP potion, and then your battle items, your bombs, your grenades, and your flares. This is an important end game item. Once you get into a Guardian um, raid, most people will have one of these. They, you know, make it way easier. You can see the boss on the map. Takes 20 pearls and some wildflowers. These are normal items. These you're going to get from just, you know, going to the map and foraging these. These you will have to fish for. 
You're gonna have to fish for these. It took me around five minutes to get all of these pearls. They should be very fast. Um, and you know, as uh, once you've got all these items, you can hit craft. It's 1200 silver. It's not that much. For the HP potions, they are gonna cost gold. But I know as a beginner, once you first get into this game, there's a lot of welcome challenges that's gonna give you these potions. But once you run out of these potions, you are gonna have to either buy them from the Marie shop, or you're gonna have to craft them. I would really suggest you don't not buy them from the Marie shop because there's so many other items that you should be buying, like the life leap stones or the harmony shard pouches. These are really important. But um, as uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you guys um, in any way. Please like the video if it did. It really helps with the algorithm. And I'm always streaming on Twitch. Uh, my handle is the Tasty Flurry. If you guys ever want to come check out and hang out, I'm looking to build a small community. Um, I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.